You're watching Fox 10 News with John Hook and Carrie Lake in HD. Tattooing has been practiced for centuries around the world, and in the past 15 to 20 years, it seems that the number of tattoos, especially among younger people, has multiplied. What's also increased recently is the number of people getting their tattoos removed. One Valley doctor showed us the process that he uses that he says makes sure that any potential toxins in that tattoo ink don't wind up poisoning you. You guys have your goggles on? Pretty much immediately after I had the tattoo done, I knew I had made a mistake. Tattoo removal uh, using a laser is pretty much a gold standard. Jessica Jewell is having a tattoo removed from the upper part of her leg. It's something she's wanted to do almost since she got the tattoo. I was a young girl who didn't put much thought into what she wanted and uh, didn't um, like it after the fact. Lasers are the gold standard for removing a tattoo. It's not easy and it's not quick. Jewel has been going to Dr. Jane for almost two years. And the treatment? It feels like um, sparks, like heated sparks shooting on your skin. There was a lot of colors in there, and some of the colors that were in there were a little bit harder and tougher to get out. Jane says the bright colors are the most difficult to remove. And because the inks are in several layers in and under the skin, it takes many treatments spaced out about a month apart to get the job done. Basically, the uh, laser is breaking up the tattoo, uh, and then the color gets dispersed, and then some of it just actually flakes off. Uh, other parts of it are actually removed through the circulatory system. And about that ink? A lot of the inks will have uh, lead or mercury. Some have arsenic in it um, to help more with the preservative as well as with the color enhancement. So where does this ink go after it's broken up by the laser? They're going in your body and they're, and they're, and they're staying there and they get it trapped in the, in the fat cells. Uh, and so they may be minuscule amounts, but it, it adds up. According to Jane, having these heavy metals in your bloodstream or stored in fat cells is far from an ideal situation. I've seen a correlation with elevated metals in a lot of neurological disease, um, Alzheimer's, Parkinson's, uh, MS. That's why Jane also insists on chelation therapy for his tattoo removal patients. Through an IV, a homeopathic medicine flushes out the metals that have accumulated. It's kind of a double whammy that they're also um, cleaning their body internally as well as what's happening, you know, as a result of the tattoo removal. Jewel says the laser treatments do hurt, but she feels energized by the chelation therapy. And not too far down the road, she'll be rid of her mistake. It's worth the uh, soreness, you know. I know what the end result will be, and, and that's what motivates me to keep doing it. Now, since the FDA doesn't regulate the inks used in tattoo, you never really know how much, if any, heavy metals they contain. Now, the doctor in our piece, Jane, Dr. Jane, recommends thinking about getting a tattoo, thinking twice about it. You really do want to do your research on the tattoo artist that you plan to use, as well as the types of ink that they're using. If you'd like more information about Dr. Jane, we've linked his information on our website on myfoxphoenix.com. Just go to the As Seen on TV tab.